the morning y'all I just want to say hey and pop in anyway I was just looking at my phone like I have a um a reminder to um work out and so I got the reminder in my phone like when did I do it I think in January maybe January February Jesus Damn. <laughs> I heard that it's Tuesday. Anyway, but um, I'm so proud of myself and I am super excited. And so I'm looking at the reminder. And the reminder said that my waist is 44 inches. Well, as of today, what's today? The 12th, June the 12th, I have lost four inches off my way you probably like dang dang that's not really a lot but do we know how it works like inches is crazy so inches are more important to me and I love the numbers coming out the scale because right now I'm 267.4 and when I started my journey um back again and uh, really getting on it and keeping my carbs at a minimum I was 272 what a month ago so <clears throat> I'm happy to be sitting where I'm at um when I did the keto diet I got down to 261 even so to let you know like I know how to lose the weight but now I'm in a happy place. We got a new home. So now I'm thinking I need to get my treadmill. I gotta I know I have to take time with a lot of things I need to get. But we still gotta get our kids stuff together, our stuff together. Organizing everything. Putting stuff everywhere. Being parents, making the right decision for our children. And um yeah figuring this thing out and as soon as I can get me a treadmill in there I am okay so I feel like that helps you stay on track I watch a lot of people on YouTube I'm not YouTube on um, Instagram too that I follow they have treadmills at home they go to the gym also but they have treadmills so yeah and I still got my my watch it's Garmin um Zero move Garmin. So, if anybody's on Garmin, I will put my name in the description box on the Garmin app so you can follow me and see how I'm doing. And, um, yeah. So, anyway, this is a quick update and to let you guys know how I'm doing. Oh, yeah. I was going to upload a video because I have pictures and all that. If you've been rocking with me since day one i had this thing on my side my left oh yeah i can't show y'all because it's too tight tight okay but i had this thing on my left side that i got from carrying my first child i'm not my first child my second son um yeah and it, it started off real skinny and thin and i found out they're called skin tags and I'm doing a whole video on it already and I'll upload it soon but I have pictures of it too and um yeah I'm just like crazy like like yeah and I asked God for help because it hurt me and um I'm just so happy that it's not hurting me anymore but anyway y'all see that video anyway talk to y'all Lovely people like that. Bye. <laughs> I need to get my brows done. Bad. We moved, so I mean, I gotta find a new. And I'm probably gonna drive across town just to go get them done again. My um, when I get my eyebrows done, cause you know my eyes are slanted. Them eyebrows bring my eyes out once I get them done and I already have shapes of my eyebrows so it don't take too much 
So anyway, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. I'm about to get up. I need to make Briera a bottle. Um, y'all could come with me. My kitchen is a disaster. It's, that's probably what I'm gonna start doing on my um YouTube channel also. Um, yeah, they might start doing clean with me. Um, and I'll keep you guys posted on new things coming to my channel because I feel like I could do a lot now. I can do more. My home is very up to part. Um, it wasn't a rushy situation this time, so <sighs> I feel so blessed and so humble and just so thankful that Yah, who is God, just loves us so much and just so blessed and I'm um, just I can't tell you how blessed I am to not have to be on a whole bunch of assistance and and be able to afford this and take care of our children is just feel so good and I'm so thankful for anybody too that has helped us in the past when we could not do certain things and um, God is so good and so wonderful to put people in your life that can't help you so don't never ever feel so uppity like nobody can help you and you just gotta do it on your own sometimes God comes in to send those people to help you because he sees it too much on your shoulder I know everybody said God don't give you too much that you can't bear but listen sometimes you can't bear it or sometimes he sends someone to help there's so many times like one time I was walking and I remember that I was walking with one of my sons from school. And this man was like, didn't I just see you such and such at Walmart on the other side? I'm like, no. He was like, but anyway, God told me to hand you this. That man handed me $20. Didn't know nothing. Y'all, and I remember that day. My husband didn't get paid, I think, until like the next day. And we probably had like $15, $20 after paying our bills in our account. And I wanted to go get um, my eyebrows done and make sure we had bread and stuff like that and wearing and then God swoop around and get somebody to bless you. So I'm just saying, so never, and, and I remember when I was a kid, people walked up to me and hand me $100, $50, $20. I was shocked and I guess God said, hey, I'm still that same guy, baby. That's why the person walked up to you and gave you twenty dollars. Anyway, love you guys, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.